Afternoon guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge. And it's Saturday, so every Saturday we do, slash back Saturday. And this is a tag from the Horror Man. Check his channel out, his name's Joe. Always does a wicked sexual challenge to like. Uh, watch a movie every week, what he chooses the theme. And then you pick one and you come on here and say a bit about it or review or anything you want really. And I love the segment so it's wicked, check it out. And this week's this week's um this week's theme was number twos. So you had to get like a slasher a slasher sequel part two. So I went for Friday the 13th part 2 now I know my good friend Jason from JM Horrific Nightmares did this one I didn't know he was doing it I should have probably asked before I'm but sorry mate but yeah um, I've just got back into me uh, Friday the 13th because I haven't watched him for 15 or 20 years I don't know why it's just you know it just passes you by life doesn't it <laughs> And uh, I thought, I'll watch this again, because I remember it being really good, what I remember. And I show, showed you earlier, I got this one in the post this morning, which was a bit of luck, which is amazing media book. Um, but yeah, I watched this one. And um, yeah, it's really good. It's, um, it's Friday the 13th Part 2, obviously. This one was made in 1981. And basically, it's five years after... Five years after the first Friday the 13th, basically. And it's directed by Steve Milner. And uh, it stars Amy Steele, who's the main girl, Ginny. Uh, I didn't realise, when I was looking her up, she was uh, also a psychologist in real life. And she got offered to play a role in Friday the 13th 3 and turned it down. She didn't want to do any more horror and stuff. Didn't want to get so... Fair play to her. Then there's John Fiore. He's like the boyfriend of her. Or the, uh, there's Adrian, Adrian King. Betsy Palmer. She plays bit parts in it. Uh, Jason's mum, Pamela, obviously, Betsy Palmer. There's uh, Marta Coba. Walt Gorney. And uh, I'm not going to go for everyone. Just go for and a, a girl called Kirstine Baker, who is really fit. Who is hot in this. And uh, yeah, they all come to the demise from Jason. But basically it's um, it's a bunch of teenage wannabe counsellors basically. And they go back to, um, I can't remember the, the camp. I should have written it down really. But it's a camp and it's right next to Camp Crystal Lake. And basically the they're talking around the campfire about Jason and stuff. And they say, no, it's not real, you know, stuff like that. And um, some go off, a truckload go off to this pub, leaving like the other love interests behind, probably about eight or nine of them, uh, behind at the cabin to do whatever they do. And um, yeah, Jason starts picking them off one by one. But it's not the best Jason, in my opinion, with a sack on his head. I like it better than the man. I know the hockey masks... You know, what everyone knows and that. But the sackhead, Jason, is awesome. And yeah, there's some good performances in this. Like I say, Amy Steele. I thought it was the... Um, it really looked... You can't really see here, but that's the girl. It really looks like the girl who played Carrie, but it isn't. But it, it looks so much alive. But she done a really good job. And uh, yeah, like I said, the Jason in this one's good because he isn't like, he's just like a normal... Normal guy, he's not like in the other ones where he's knocking people's heads off and he's superhuman strength and stuff. He's just, you know, a deformed guy. Yeah, really good guys. I'm not going to go too far, too much into it because watch it yourselves if you haven't. Probably everyone has, but brilliant film. I loved it. I'll give it a eight and a half, nine out of ten. I, I love this one, but I'm watching all of them now, all the Friday the 13th again. So, yeah, getting through them. Love it, and um, really, uh, I think the inspiration from the sack, I think everyone knows 
I think Jason might have said it on his video too. It um, came from the town that dreaded sundown. But, and I think as well, looking at the, um, the wrong turn movie, especially the first one, you can see wrong turn got a lot of inspiration out of this movie. Like his hut where Jason's staying and the uh, hillbillyism, deformedism. I think they got a lot out of this. The uh, wrong term franchise. But yeah, really good movie. Really, Jason's got like a shrine to his mum in it. It's really weird. But some awesome kills. And good 80s fun. Brilliant film. Check it out. Uh, can't wait to do next week's Slashback. Hope you guys are all up having a good weekend. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all later. Thanks a lot for watching.